Hey guys, welcome back. So, I think today is going to be a pretty quick video. I just wanted to show off uh, a really, really good quadding spot that you can do from about level 38. Um, you might all know about this one. This is just the, the Yetis in the Dreadlands. So, if you're porting into the Dreadlands, you'll come out of that little tunnel. I think it's about it's there somewhere. Yeah, the tunnel is, is just here. So, as soon as you come out, there's like a little little tundra here with a bunch of yetis. And this is a great spot. You probably read on leveling guys that yetis are really good to kill. And the reason is they have very low resists. They seem to have very low HP. And there's usually plenty of them. So this is a really good spot. Like totally uncontested. You could probably fit like five druids here. And never ever have a problem finding one. See, look, I just came down and they're, they're freaking everywhere. You can add giants and stuff into the mix if you want as well. I usually I usually try to stick to uh, to yetis only. Just because they all, you'll see, they all die right at the same time. So grab your four yetis. And yeah, again, this this any class can hunt here. Yetis are great XP. They drop semi-decent loot. Um, how good, <laughs> um, look how, look how they run, don't you love that, um, they drop semi-decent loot, but yeah, it's all about their, their HP is just crazy low, and they're just super easy to kill, uh, melee classes will like them as well, because I feel like you hit Yeti's harder, maybe they got really low AC or something, um, <laughs> look at that little wave. <laughs> uh, yeah, these are really fun to kill. I guess the only problem with this this zone is just due to the the terrain, it can sometimes hard be, sometimes be hard to get a cast going on them. You'll see what I mean. the The flatter the ground, the better it is, as a general rule. So once you've got your your, uh, your four yetis. I usually just bring them up here. This is sort of the safe zone where, where the, the ice turns into this rock. This is where I usually quad them because you don't get any roamers up here. Oops, sorry. And then I just sort of run them around this kind of area. See, I should be able to cast on them, but just due to the terrain, you kind of have to wait till flat ground. So I usually wait till they pop over this peak. There they, <laughs> there they are. Get another lightning strike on them. And look, you can see they have such a little HP. Look how much damage that did. So if you come here at level 38, you'll breeze to level 42, 43. I would probably suggest leaving them around level 44. But this is a good alternative to uh, the ogre camp I was at uh, a few days ago. If that one's camped. Obviously the loot there is better, but... Long respawn timer and highly contested, so this is a really good plan B. But to be honest with you, I, I would come here on... Uh, on any character. Great solo spot. You probably want to have access to levitate, that makes this a little bit easier as well. But no, this is a really, really, really good spot. I kind of wish I found this one earlier, actually. So yeah, if you're, if you're a druid in the sort of 30s range, I would, I would put this as a must for level 38-ish. Because damn, it's so easy. And look, I'm on 50% 50% mana, and they're pretty much dead. Total, total breeze. And look, I didn't get one resist that whole time, so this should kill all four of them. Yeah, there you go. And then let's have a look at the loot. Yeah, see, they drop, they drop, they'll randomly drop uh, gems like that. I think an emerald sells for about 12 platinum. 
Um, essence of Winter, I don't know what that does. The coin is very average, but, you know, what's that, a Jade Earring, maybe like two plat or something. So, you know, probably get maybe like five to ten plat per quad. It's not great, but it's better than nothing at all. And then usually what I would do is just come up by this sort of stick coming out of the ground and hide. Yeah, that was a successful hide. So I would usually just, you know, chill out here and wait, you know, five minutes or so and then come back and do another one. Very, very relaxed spot to quad and I totally recommend it. If you're in this level range and you can solo, I would think about coming here. Um, all right, cheers guys. I think I'm gonna do a charming uh, video next in Emerald Jungle. Show off some of that gorilla charming. I was doing it the other night, it was really, really fun. So that'll be on episode six. So cheers guys, I'll see you soon.